Hello guys, welcome back. In this section, we will talk about Prompt Builder. Prompt Builder covers about 37% of the exam questions. So majority of the questions are going to be related to this particular topic. So please pay extra attention to this section of the course. Now under this section, what are we going to cover in this particular section? So the first important thing is we are going to understand what is Prompt Builder? What is the purpose of the Prompt Builder? Prompt Builder, as the name indicates, it is used to build prompts, okay? And prompts are nothing but the instructions that we give to large language model based on which it gives you a response. So that is called as a prompt. And Prompt Builder is used to build prompt templates. Now, what is the difference between a prompt and a prompt template? Prompt template, just like you have email and email template, right? So email template consists of these placeholders which gets replaced based on the record ID. When you're creating an email template, you're basically creating a generic template. And in that generic template, you probably have the context name, context address, things like that. These are called as the merge fields, right? So in similarly, you create a prompt template using the prompt builder. And there are different types of prompt templates that you can create. There are different varieties of prompt templates. For example, field creation is one of the prompt template. Then you have record summary is another one. Sales email generation is third one. Flex templates is the fourth one. So there are different types of prompt templates you can create within the prompt builder. So what we're going to talk about is we are going to see how to create prompt templates, how to activate them, how to execute prompt templates. We will also talk about the appropriate grounding technique. Grounding technique is what? When you add additional details from your CRM data into your prompt template is called as the grounding, right? We have talked about grounding in the previous section. What we are doing is we are fetching the data from CRM objects and we are replacing it with our uh, with within the prompt template when you are sending the prompt to the large language model. We will also talk about the right user roles that are needed to manage and execute prompt templates means what role you should have in order to manage and execute these prompt templates. We will also learn about when to use which type of prompt templates. As I mentioned, there are a variety of prompt templates. You have field creation, then you have sales email generation, and then you have is um, record summary, then you have flex templates. So there are different varieties of prompt templates. Now, which of these templates you are going to use in a particular scenario, that's what we are going to discuss in the upcoming tutorials. So this is just to give you a quick summary of what is coming up in this particular section. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you.